Hello everybody! In this Python tutorial we are going to go over tuples. A quick definition. The tuple is similar to a list that cannot be changed. Tuples are immutable sequences. Tuples are used to represent fixed collections of items and they are normally coded in parentheses or round brackets instead of square brackets like a list. And they support arbitrary types, nesting, and the usual sequence operations. You may want to use tuples when immutability is important. Also note that sometimes tuples are created without parentheses, but normally with parentheses. To start, let's go over the tuple syntax. In our first example, we have an example of an empty tuple. And to create an empty tuple, you just create a variable and assign the tuple syntax with the round brackets or the parentheses with nothing in it. To create a tuple with one item, again, use the round brackets, put your item inside, and then put a comma after the one item. To create a tuple with several items, looks like this. So here we have the variable, the assignment, and the round brackets with the items inside. And we have four items in this example. To create a nested tuple, looks like this. So here we have our series of round brackets. We have one item, and then we have another tuple with two items inside of this surrounding tuple. For our next example, we're going to go over what is commonly called tuple unpacking. So here we have a variable, T5, which stands for tuple five. We have assigned our tuple with three elements, Jimmy's Pizza, 123 Main Street, and Voted Best Pizza. Next, to unpack this tuple, we create a series of variable names that will correspond to each part of this T5 tuple, and then we assign that to T5. So what's happening here is Jimmy's Pizza will be assigned to the variable restaurant name, 123 Main Street will be assigned to the address, and voted best pizza will be assigned to rank or rating. Then, if you would like to display parts of this tuple here by the variable name that we assigned while doing the tuple unpacking, so you can see here we have restaurant name. Let's go ahead and select our code and run it, and you can see for the restaurant name, which we assigned to Jimmy's Pizza earlier, we get Jimmy's Pizza. Now let's go ahead and display the other variables as well, the address and the rank and rating. And you can see now we get Jimmy's Pizza, 123 Main Street, voted best pizza. Okay, so that's just an example of tuple unpacking. To concatenate or join two tuples together, you can simply use the plus sign. So here we have tuple six with elements A and B, tuple seven with elements C and D. We've created a new tuple, tuple eight, assigned the concatenation of tuple six and seven together. And if we display this, you can see now we have in tuple eight, the elements with both tuple six and seven added together. To count the elements of a tuple, you can use the len function. So here we have tuple nine, which we can see contains five elements. However, let's use the len function to count that for us. Go ahead and select this and run it, and you can see we get five. Now, if you'd like to count the occurrences of a specific element, you can use the count. So in this case, we have tuple 10 with elements A, A, B, and C. So we have three A's, one B, and one C. And in this case, we want to count the number of A's in tuple 10. So here we have a print to display tuple 10 dot count. And inside the count function, we put the element we want to count, which is A. So when we select this and run it, we should get three. And we get three. We're good to go. If you would like to find the minimum number in a tuple with numbers, here we have tuple number 11. With the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, we're using the min function. We've put tuple 11 inside the min function. And when we select this and run it, we should get 1, which is the minimum of this set of data here. If you would like to find the maximum value in a tuple, just use the max function similar to the way we use the min function. So if we select this and run it, we should get five as five is the largest value in this tuple here and we get five. Next, let's go over how to find the index of a specific element in a tuple. So here we have tuple 13 with elements A, B, C, D, and E. And let's just say we want to know the index for element C, we've referenced our tuple 13, and then we use a dot to access the index, and then we put the element inside the index that we want the index reference for. Let's go ahead and select this and run it, 
and we get index two. And just remember that the index starts at zero, so A would be zero, B would be one, and C would be two. Moving on, let's go over how to take a slice out of a tuple. So here we have tuple 14 with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J. And let's just say we want to take a slice of the first five letters out of these 10 letters here. So to do that, we're gonna use a print to display, reference the tuple 14, and then we're gonna use the slice syntax. Start at the first element, which is index zero, then use a colon, and then put the element you want to go up to, but not including. So if you just count through these, this would be zero, one, two, three, four, F would be five, but the slice syntax will go up to, but not including index five, which is F. So this slice syntax here should just include the first five elements, which are A, B, C, D, and E. Let's go ahead and select this and run it. And you can see we get the first five elements, A, B, C, D, and E. Next up, let's go over how to access elements of a tuple. So for tuple 15, we have two tuples inside of a larger tuple. Now here you can see in our print statement, we have referenced the tuple 15, and we are referencing two indexes. The first index will reference the different parts of the larger tuple. So in this case, for the round brackets here and here, there are one, two, three, four elements that start at index zero, and the indexes for what's inside the larger tuple would be, dogs would be zero. This tuple here with Benji, Spuds, and Lassie would be index one. This would be index two, and this with the names Garfield and Heathcliff would be index three. So let's say we wanted to pull out the name Spuds. So first we need to index this tuple here. Dogs would be index zero, and this tuple here would be index one. So that's why we have a one here. And then inside this smaller tuple, Benji would be index zero, and Spuds would be index one. That's why we have this one here. If we select this and run it, we should get Spuds. And we do. Next, we have an example of iterating through a tuple. So here we have tuple 16 with elements A, B, C, D, and E. We use a simple for loop, for I in tuple 16, and we print the I, which iterates through each element of tuple 16. Select this and run it. And you can see we get all the elements A, B, C, D, and E of tuple 16. To test for membership of a tuple, you can use in. So here we have tuple 17 with the elements green, blue, red, and orange. We're using a print to display, and we're going to ask, is purple in T17? We can see purple is not in tuple 17, so this should return false. And we get back false. Next, let's go over an example of how to convert a tuple to a list. Here we have tuple 18 with the elements bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. We're going to create a new variable. Then you just use the word list, put tuple 18 inside, and now when we display tuple 19, it should be this tuple transformed into a list. Let's select it and run it. And you can see now we have our tuple transformed into a list, and you can tell by the square brackets. Next, let's go over an example of how to convert a list into a tuple. Very similar to our example above, we start out with a list. Here we have L1, which stands for list one with elements A, B, and C. We have created a new tuple variable, T20. Then you just type out the word tuple, use the round brackets, put the list inside of the round brackets. And now when we print out tuple 20, it will take this list here and turn it into a tuple. Select it and run it. And you can see now we have our tuple with elements A, B, and C. In our next example, let's use a tuple to swap values. So here we have variable A assigned 10, variable B assigned 20. If we select this part now and run it, you can see we're displaying A, which is 10, B, which is 20. If you would like to swap those, create a tuple with A and B, and then assign another tuple with B and A. So this will swap A with B and B with A. If we select this and run it, you can see here, before we had A was 10 and B was 20. Now, we did a new print here with A and B again, and A is now 20 and B is 10, and the values have been swapped. 
For our last example, let's go over how to create a function that returns a tuple. We have created this function to take an argument of the radius of a circle and then return the circumference and the area. So we've defined the function, created the name of the function, which is circle. We have one parameter here, which will be taken as an argument with the value of a radius. To get the circumference, we multiply two times pi times the radius to get the area. We use the math module here, and we multiply pi times the radius squared. And then finally, we use a tuple to return the circumference and the area. So let's go ahead and test out this function here. Let's clear our console, call the function circle, and let's just put in a radius of 10, hit return, and we get our circumference and area returned here as a tuple. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial on tuples in Python. We will be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.